Greetings, fellow citizens. I am the Senate dude, and I'm here to. T I'm gonna talk to you really quick about this little disclaimer I'm putting up here. Uh, unfortunately, there has been a problem with my mic. With what? Well, there was a problem with my mic, and I couldn't. And unfortunately, for this video, you will not be able to hear the commentary that I normally would regularly give. And I'm gonna explain to you right why just really quick here. And if I go to OBS settings, I open my settings menu. I go to the audio tab, and as you can see, the um, microphone thing here. This microphone thing was mysteriously set to disabled instead of high definition audio device, which is this mic here. And I don't know why it did that. It just up and decided, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna switch it to that. And it could have been when I updated OBS and it reset that value. So um, I don't know. I don't know why that happened, but it just did, and I'm just going to have to live with it, and unfortunately, you won't be able to hear the commentary. But I still hope, but I'm still going to put up the videos. I've lost uh, the commentary to eight videos of Greedfall, I think two of them uh, of AC Odyssey, and uh, the final episode of Man in the Den, which I'm considering deleting and re-recording, which uh, would be bad. But, uh, eh, who cares? Anyways, I'm um, sorry about this issue. I hope you still enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. Desarde, I'd like to know more about my family. I need to know what became of them. Could you accompany me to see Lady Morange? I'm afraid that without you, she may refuse to give me any information. All right, Vasco. Let's go see Lady Lorene Morange. Cousin, you have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. We don't appear to be in top form. A house intrigue's keeping you from finding proper sleep. No, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. I've been to the neighboring cities as you asked of me. Tell me then, was your journey adventurous? Well, I was able to gain audience with the governors, give them your regards, and glean some information. I would not have allowed anything bad to happen to him, your highness. Oh, it's just us here, Kurt. Why not continue to call me by my given name? Carry on with your story, cousin. I'm impatient to know what secrets our illustrious neighbors have discovered. The Bridge Alliance believes that a remedy could possibly be found by studying the local flora. They are quite motivated, but their research expedition has gone missing and there is no sign of life. And since they themselves are under constant attack, they cannot spare a rescue party to investigate. The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, believes the Malachor to be a result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon. An evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our Mother Cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our Inquisitors are hardly diplomats, and... But I should let you finish, my son. They have started their investigations in a village where strange events have been taking place. But they're unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets. And Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors. <sighs> we 
We're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. We need to help them continue their investigations. Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. I don't have a lot of men, as well you know, and since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on his investigation. Very well, then. You could start by indicating the precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map, my son. Thank you. Have no fear, Constantine. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Good day, Lady Morange. Do you remember me? Of course. Sir de Sardé, isn't it? I hope that you and your cousin have grown to like it here. But I have little reason to believe you have paid me a visit to exchange civilities. Can I be of service? What can you tell me about New Serene? It's a new city whose construction began not long ago. When I arrived five years ago, there was just a port, a fence, and some huts here. The businesses, the barracks of the guard, the palace, and all of the houses sort of sprung up from the ground. To see how impressive it is today, even if it is still far from its majestic mother, is incredible. Of course, with such expanse, all kinds of bandits, drunkards, and other lowlife have arrived. But I'm very proud of it, in spite of everything. I hope that your cousin continues this work. What do you know about this island? Much less than I would like. The land is still wild and extremely rich. Its soils are full of minerals, some of which are unknown to us. With regard to the flora and fauna, you've probably seen how different the creatures and plants are here. The islanders protect their land fiercely, and we cannot begrudge them that. When you see what we have done with our own, well, such a source of richness attracts greed. You seem interested in the islanders. As a matter of fact, I find their culture fascinating, but I can't say I know much about them. They are quite secretive and protect their cult and traditions from the curiosity of strangers. I know that their sages, they call them Donegada, are the guardians of their rituals as well as of the island. They have very strong links with nature and the creatures that inhabit it. They're also good healers. I could talk about them for hours, but you will learn more from the islanders themselves. What can you tell me about the relations we have with other nations? We play a difficult role, caught between these two enemy nations who are nonetheless our allies. The smallest action could tip the balance and draw us into their conflict. If I may offer some advice, be very careful. We do not want a war to break out here. We would like to have some information regarding an important family, the Darcys. Well, I could tell you many things about them, but I suppose that you want to know something in particular? Are there any members of this family on the island? Indeed, Bastien Darcy, the son of the family, has been in New Serene for some time. Last I heard about it, he was doing business. But that doesn't help in knowing where he is. 
The Darcy's first attempt at establishing themselves on this island wasn't very fruitful, but I seem to recall that since then the Sun has found a competent associate who's been working here for a long time. Perfect. Could you tell us where to find her? Of course. Ask for a Madame Clerk near the warehouses on the port. That's where she normally is. I hope the Darcy's are not in trouble. Don't worry, madam. Their name was simply mentioned in some business discussions. We are thinking about becoming associates. We would like to know more about them to form an opinion. If you ask me, you should forget this idea, Your Excellency. Their son is a poor business partner. Why do you say that? I do not mean to speak ill of him. Perhaps it would be better for you to form your own opinion. Well, thank you for your help, madam. Can I help you with any other matter? My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. You? Are you here to do business? Are you Madam Clerk? We would like to meet with your associate, Mr. Darcy. Bastion? I don't know where he is. I can't say that he often graces us with his presence. You don't have the slightest idea where he is? I am not his caretaker, you know. You don't seem to hold him in high regard. Listen, my relationship with my associate is no one else's concern. And if you didn't come to do business, well... We must find him. This man you can see by my side is his brother. Do not insult my intelligence. I know that the Darcy's only have one son, alas. You can see the Nort tattoos on his face, can't you? And a merchant like you must surely know about the Nort's recruiting process. So it is true. The Darcy's gave away one of their children. I find it hard to believe. He was supposed to go to Hickman to deal with one of our clients. But I didn't receive any news from him after his departure. And given his tendency to get himself into impossible situations, I didn't try to get any. Who is this client? His name is Ferrat. You'll find him in the Alchemist District. Uh, I'll write this down. You think something may have happened to him there? His mission wasn't very complicated. He had to pay for a valuable shipment and take charge of it. But with Bastion, anything is possible. Thank you, madam.
If you come to do business, you should go upstairs. I am but a poor underling. Hello, sir. Is this the house of the man called Farad? It is I. What can I do for you? We're searching for Mr. Darcy. He was supposed to come here to do business. Yes. Yes, he did come here, but I don't know where he is. <sighs> to be honest, our exchange did not exactly go as planned. And if you are his associate or a member of his family, know that you owe me a large sum of money. How so? Well, this Darcy fellow came here to take the shipment, and he was supposed to deliver me a promissory note. Which never arrived, I imagine. How could you let him leave with your merchandise without payment? Well, he's the son of a very well-known family. I did not deem it necessary to try and obtain more guarantees. What if something happened to him? Nothing happened. At least I don't think so. Why should that concern me? I'm not his brother. He owes me money, and I do not have the slightest idea of where he might be. I suspect that you're not telling us everything. Oh, uh, come on. If you have not come to repay his debt, leave me alone so I can work in peace. Greetings. If you have come to do business, head upstairs, if there's any business left to do. Why do you say that? They haven't been paying me, and I've had to work with cheap ingredients for weeks. What do you do here, exactly? I create and prepare complex potions. Not simple health potions, but far more subtle things. And if I'm not mistaken, things are not going the way you would want them to. The boss has always been difficult, but ever since he got ripped off, it has been a living hell. I work using leftovers thrown away by all the other alchemists, while listening to him screaming at me and everyone else all day. This is no way to live. Have you heard of a man called Bastian Darcy? <sighs> it would be difficult not to. His name is the only thing my boss talks about. Apparently, he did not pay for one of our shipments and still left with the goods. And now my boss makes me work twice as much to compensate for his losses. With ingredients I wouldn't even feed to a pig. And what did your boss do? Well, he spent every waking hour cursing his name. That's how I learned about it. How can a brilliant, conscientious alchemist keep working here? I am certain that any great laboratory in town would welcome you with open arms. So why continue protecting your employer? Oh, you're right. Anywhere is better than here. My boss did not only curse the name of the man you're looking for, he also hired some thugs to find him and our shipment. Interesting. I think we may need to have a few words with your employer. If you could also tell him that I am resigning, then I won't need to go upstairs. You again. I already told you that I do not know where the man you're searching for is. You may not know where he is, but you did everything you could to find him, didn't you? 
What do you mean? Does this document ring a bell? You hired some debt collectors to find Mr. Darcy. How dare you rummage through my belongings? You could have taken legal action and retrieved what you were owed, but you sent some killers instead. I doubt the governor would approve. Do you want us to tell him about it? No. But please, understand me. The Darcy family is on the continent. It would take months for them to reply to my complaint. What other solution was there? My shop will not survive this. Tell us who these debt collectors are and we'll take care of it. They loiter in an alleyway of ill repute, not far from here, in the science district. That's what I feared. Probably a bunch of cutthroats. If Bastion survives... If he survives, remind him of what he owes me. I told you everything I know. I must go back to work now. Everything, I swear. This is nothing but a horrible misunderstanding. Hey, you! Leave this man alone! What do you want? No one asked you for your opinion, so get lost! Maybe he's friends with the weakling. Maybe. In any case, it seems like he wants to share his fate. You think I'm afraid? I fought uglier people than you. Vasco, let me try to take care of this. How much money are we talking about? You're here to collect a debt, right? Between what he owes our client and our commission, it's a hefty sum. But if you want to pay in his stead, my lord, please do. Here, take this and leave. Thank you, my lord. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Come on, we'll leave you with your weakling. I hope I never cross paths with you again. Thank you for your intervention. I thought these brutes would kill me. Don't mention it. It's only natural. But how did you end up in such a situation? Oh, I'm certain someone like you, who belongs to high society, will understand. There is a game table here that is attended by the best of the aristocracy. I lost the money I owed to that merchant while playing there. And, since I got out with a few other debts, I had to leave the merchandise as repayment as well. But that's a mere trifle that my father would have paid for without thinking twice. I never would have thought that someone would send these types of brutes after me. What a lack of tact. In any case, I am extremely grateful to you. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is... Captain Vasco. Nought and Sea Given. It was a pleasure, sir. Desarde, 
Can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Thank you, Desade. My pleasure. But why didn't you tell him who you were? But I did tell him. I was stupid. I resented everyone, and you even more, for the life I didn't get to live. You had it all, everything I thought I was entitled to. But after seeing Bastion, I realized that in the end, I was exactly who I wanted to be. A naught, and a proud one of that. I'm glad to hear it. No more regrets? No more regrets. And I certainly don't regret not being called Leandra Darcy. Greetings. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Governor Burren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. Hello there. My name is Desardé. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted, and night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. Were there several attackers? I counted five, maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them, but their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the loot has started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? 
Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. I might find something there to help track these rebels. Caravan was some distance from the road when it was attacked. Here we are. Stay alert. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades, the kind of weapons that islanders use. The crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around.
something in his pocket. He was in the caravan, but whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. A message for other merchants, no doubt. One must admit, it's an effective deterrent. Poison on my blade. Then let's go! <laughs> Thank you. 
close to the target. This obstacle was deliberately placed here. I think we're on the right track. Their camp must be nearby. We must find a way to pass. Finally, here's the camp of the rebel natives. Let's try talking to them before rushing in. They must have good reason to only attack the caravans that supply Hikmet. Hello, don't worry, I come in peace. I only wish to speak to your leader. I am the leader of this camp, Renaikse. And who might you be? My name is the Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. The congregation? Are those the Lugayet Blau? The yellow eyes? It's possible, yes. We live in the city south of the island. That's right. We hold no grudge against your people. Talk. I'm listening. I've come to speak to you about your attacks against all those who take the road to Hikmet. The Lurians only got what they deserve. They have captured many of our people. We must release them. That's the price of war. If you fight, you risk men being taken prisoner. I'm not talking about warriors, Renaikse, but villagers kidnapped in our villages. They mainly attack on all Menawe, those carrying the mark of the bond like you. They capture them, and we never see them again. We don't know what they are doing to them, but we are going to release them. I see. But our merchants have no role in this. They are not warriors. So why kill them? They brought food and weapons back to our enemies. We could not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted, so they do it. The city of Loyans is no longer to receive food or weapons. Nothing. In that case, I'm sorry to tell you that you've failed. The road is not the only way to transport goods. Many things are transported by sea. Listen, 
If what you told me is true, I fully understand why you're fighting. I'm even ready to help you clear up these disappearances, as long as you spare our merchants. You no longer need to worry about it. That was our last attack. Our troops are ready, and soon we will make the Luyan pay for the harm it has brought upon us. What are you talking about? Soon, the Donea Exregal will march together, and we will free our brothers. Can you guarantee that our merchants will now be able to take this road without risking their lives? I always keep to my word. The time for small attacks is over. Now is the time of war. I'm afraid you're heading straight into a massacre. But since you promised me that our caravans will be spared, I have fulfilled my mission. Go in peace. We should prepare ourselves. I hope I will not regret letting them go. They are so full of hatred for the Alliance. You've heard what their leader said. They will do anything to free their own. And if they are actually ready for a pitched battle, there will be piles of corpses. I have to admit that the story of this attack is concerning. We should talk to Captain Rainhild about it. We can also inform him that the convoys will now be running smoothly. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? I managed to trace the rebels who attacked the caravans. They will no longer be a problem. You eliminated them? No, that's not necessary. But you must know that this group is part of a much bigger army. An army that is ready to go to war against Hikmet. We have been at war with the rebels for a long time. They did not speak of skirmishes, but of a pitched battle. They want to free their imprisoned comrades and will stop at nothing to do so. This is terrible news. We must prepare the troops immediately. I'll send a message to Governor Buran. Thank you for warning us, Your Excellency. You've given us a chance to resist their assault. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Captain. Greenblood, my friend. My contacts have spoken. I was able to discover the location of this infamous phantom training camp. Do you still think they should be held accountable? More than ever. You know that I recruited Rainer. I want to know what kind of hornet's nest I led him into. I want to know what these madmen did. But I fear if I go alone, I might not be able to control myself. And I won't learn anything. I need the help of my best student. How can I refuse such a request? Well then, let's go.
poison on my blade. Then let's go! I was informed of your arrival by my sentinels, but I didn't think it would be you, Kurt. Rolf! You're the leader of this camp. Do you two know each other? We train together. We haven't seen each other in a long time. A very long time. The world of warriors is very small, Kurt. What brings you here, my old comrade? And who are these people with you? They're not one of us. My name is the Sade. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. And I am Captain Vasco. No need to comment about our distance from the sea. I know. These people sure are important. So, what are you doing here? I've heard things about this place. About this very special camp. And we wanted to see what it was all about with our own eyes. That's very nice of you, but visitors aren't welcome in this camp. What goes on here is only the guards' business. Does the same apply to me? Listen, Kurt. I can give you and your friends some answers, but only because it's you. Anyway, knowing you as well as I do, I'm aware I'm not going to get rid of you that easily. So, what would you like to know? What is it you do here? And why is this place kept secret, even from your comrades in the guard? The natives have their magic, and we have to train elites to be able to face them. That's what we're doing here. Our role is sensitive, and our location obviously cannot be revealed to the whole island. I see the reason for this kind of training. The Bridge Alliance would be particularly interested in soldiers like these. And yet I've never heard of this elite squadron. We're still in the early stages of the program. We don't want to rush things. And our leaders demand secrecy. Orders are orders. This is a huge camp for such a secret location. How is it organized? The main building is reserved for officers and the wounded. The front and rear of the camp are dedicated to combat training. But most exercises take place outside. Impressive. And how do you manage recruitment? Only the best come here, those who have combat experience. Once they arrive, they're separated into two squadrons, each led and trained by a lieutenant. But you already know all of this, Kurt. It must bring back memories. Yes. Will you tell us about your training? That's a sensitive topic. Most exercises take place in the field to get the men used to it. The natives' knowledge of the environment gives them as much of an advantage as their magic. But if you want to know more, you should ask my lieutenant instructors. Actually, we found out about this camp while we were looking for someone. A kid I recruited. Rayna. Oh. I didn't know he was one of yours. My condolences. I was told he died in an accident in the harbor. Don't insult my intelligence, Rolf. All right. Since you're here, I guess there's no point in lying to you anymore. The accident occurred during a maneuver. It's regrettable, but these things happen, you know? We've taken up enough of your time, Captain. I agree, and I have things to do. I'd like to question your lieutenant instructors, if you don't mind. To ask them about Rayner. 
You've become a real sap. Fine. But try not to disrupt the day's schedule too much. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I couldn't contain my anger. I noticed. Good thing you know this captain so well. I don't think he would have let us investigate otherwise. I'm not sure it's a good thing, really. Old barrack rivalries. Rolf doesn't bring back good memories for me. But let's continue. I want to know what's going on here. Lieutenant! Respectfully, Captain. Here is my friend, the legate of the merchant congregation. He would like to ask you a few questions. At your orders. I'm listening, sires. How do the various squadrons in this camp differ from one another? The recruits I train are intended to carry out more subtle actions. Really? What kind? I teach them how to blend into the background, understand customs, observe, and know when to strike. That's strange. These skills are normally associated with assassins, rather than soldiers. These skills are always useful, regardless of the enemy or the setting. What kind of training do your men undergo? I can't go into details, but they learn discipline and to outdo themselves. You mean to blindly follow orders, even to their death? But I... No, Captain. We also teach them to analyze situations, so that they know when to act to avoid risking their lives. How did you become an instructor in this camp? I have led numerous squadrons before. And I've trained hundreds of recruits on the continent. I worked with Captain Rolf in the past. And when I arrived on the island, he recommended me for this position. That's very impressive. And I expect that you're familiar with the native's environment and magic. Yes, yes, of course. Cut. Don't you think that someone this talented fits what we're looking for? You see, we need to find someone who can replace Kurt to oversee my cousin's security. I'm not an idiot, sir. An offer like that comes at a price I'm not willing to pay. In that case, we'll go have a chat with your recruits. We need to get on with the exercises, Captain. I don't recall asking your opinion, Lieutenant. Captain. Lieutenant. Captain. My friend here would like to learn more about this camp. At your orders, Captain. Sir? Can you tell us about your squadron? The recruits who come here are the best. And in my squadron, they get even better. I don't know what else to tell you. They're disciplined, rigorous, and effective. Exactly what you'd expect from the best soldiers. What kind of training takes place in your ranks? Combat in natural settings. Combat against the savages' magic. I'm very curious about how you train against the magic the natives use. Now, these are complex, secret maneuvers. I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you anymore. That's a pity. It would definitely be instructive. I heard the recruit Rainer trained here. What can you tell me about him? Oh, he was a good one. He died a little while ago. So we've heard. Your captain told us he died during a maneuver. Can you tell us more? The training we do outside can be dangerous. Unfortunately, Rainer fell to his death in a ravine. He fell? During a simulated ambush. I know, it's not glorious, but it happens. I'd like to get back to work now, if you'll allow it, Captain. Go on. We're gonna go talk to some of your recruits. I hope that it won't take too long. We're all very busy here. We'll be quick, Lieutenant.
The story about training against magic is a lie. This lieutenant has no idea what he's talking about. So what could they be training recruits for here, then? I don't know. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Soldier! Yes, Captain. At ease. We have some questions for you. Me? At your orders, Captain. You look exhausted. Is training that rough here? Well, it's difficult at first, but you get through it. Taming fatigue. That's the key to it all. Haven't you ever wanted to stop? You've never doubted your vocation. I'm not a coward, nor a weakling. The strength of the Shadow. What is that? Your motto? Our squadrons, Captain. You seem concerned about your comrades. You keep looking at them. No, no, not at all. Are you afraid of what they might think of you? Absolutely not, Captain. We are all of one mind in this squadron. We are very united. Since this is such a close-knit squadron, you must have known Rayner. Yes, of course. But he's not part of the squadron any longer. He left. Really? I don't know what you're trying to get me to say, Captain. Rayner left the squadron because he was sent on a mission. There's nothing more to say. Sorry, mate, but that's not what happened. I, I don't know anything more. Thank you. That will be all. Thank you, sire. Captain? Good heavens. I feel like a bogeyman. These recruits are clearly scared to let any information slip. It's as if their life depended on it. Hello, soldier. Captain? We need information. Your instructor authorized us to question you. Of course, sire. I'm listening. How would you describe your training? Do you train outside the camp much? Yes, we do. Well, not exclusively. Really? Yet we've been told that your unit specialized in actions over difficult terrain. Uh, yes, I think so. Well... Yes, that's true. Problems remembering things, soldier. No, Captain. What's it like in your squadron? Very good. The Phantom Squadron is made up only of the very best. Do you trust your comrades? We're like five fingers on one hand, sire. I would trust them with my life. You've sure got the military spirit. Yes, Captain. We've learned that a recruit died in an accident during a maneuver. Does this happen often? Uh, no. Of course not. Only to those who aren't strong enough. That's strange. I was told that this recruit was very talented. I... I, I don't know what to tell you. It's possible. If you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my training. He seems afraid that an accident might befall him too. No. It's not that. I just don't want to fall behind schedule. Very well. Go on. Excellent. Captain. These kids are scared to death. Yes. This boy's answers about his training seem pretty dubious to me. He can't hide the lies. Soldier. Captain. At ease, soldier. We'd like to learn more about your training. I have nothing to say about it, sir. Really? Go on, it's not a difficult question. What do you do during training? Is this a test, Captain? No, it's not a test. You may speak freely. Well, training is difficult, but we can't complain, Captain. Hmm. That's an interesting way to phrase it. You're very united in this squadron. At least, that's what I've been told. United? You could say that, yes. Until death. That's rather sinister. Does the name Rayner sound familiar to you? Yeah. Uh, well, 
No, not really. You seem rather hesitant. Afraid of being reprimanded by your lieutenant? No. Well, not at all. It's just that I can't tell you anything about Recruit Rayner. And we're lucky to have the lieutenant as our instructor, Captain. We should leave this soldier to his work. Your name, soldier? Wilhelm. Uh, first class recruit Wilhelm, Spectre Squadron. Keep it up, Wilhelm. Lieutenant, report. Captain. Could you give us a few minutes and take us around the site? I've never been here before, and I'm curious to see what goes on. I'm not sure if we can, Captain. We are on duty, Captain. Right, Lieutenant. Let's go. I... Are you coming with us? No, thank you. I'd rather stay here. Take in some fresh air. As you like. In that case, see you later. Wilhelm, we need to talk. And don't worry. Kurt will make sure your superior doesn't come this way. Why are you doing this? We didn't think you'd say anything as long as she was here. If you noticed, others will have too. They'll make me pay. Even more reason to talk. If we have proof, we can take action and close this camp. <sighs> Very well. What would you like to know? What's really going on here? We know that Rayner didn't die in an accident. This is supposed to be a training camp for the Guard's elite. Only the most talented recruits are allowed to join. This is an immense honor, an extraordinary chance. That's what we're told every day. But in reality, it's just hell. Tell me about the training you undergo here. It's more torture than anything else. We're constantly beaten and humiliated, and the slightest complaint only leads to more blows. They even push us to police one another, so we don't dare talk. Whatever the orders, we put our heads down, grit our teeth, and obey. All they leave you with is your survival instinct. Obey or die. It's inhuman. I heard them tell you about the specialist training against the natives in hostile environments. But what they teach us would be more useful for assassins. As for Rayner, do you know what happened to him? Yes. One day he just couldn't stand it any longer. He disobeyed orders, he fought back, and people got hurt. That's when things blew up. They summoned him for night training. What does that entail? It doesn't have much to do with real training. They call us up for it at the last minute. The weakest serve as punching bags for the others, who are encouraged to beat them. If we refuse, we too become the targets. So we join in and strike. If you're looking to punish Rain as murderer, you can start with me. We all have his blood on our hands. Thank you for telling us all of this. You should get back to your comrades. I hope you can do something. Have this camp closed. Otherwise, I'll soon be as dead as Rayner. We understand the risk you've taken. We won't let you down. Thank you. Really. That was truly fascinating. Captain. I've seen everything I needed to see. You can leave us. Yes, Captain. Shall we go? Cut. Willem has spoken. What did he tell you? He said the recruits go through hell. They're humiliated, spy on each other, get bullied. It's essentially torture. Rayner wouldn't stand for these methods. He rebelled and was summoned for night training. Are you sure he used that term? Yes. But he told me it's not really training. The recruits are summoned and the others beat them, sometimes to death. I know. You knew about this kind of training? Yeah. I thought it was a thing of the past. What a monster. How dare he? 
I'm so sorry. I'm... I'm lost for words. Tell me, did you learn anything new? I scouted out the site. There's two parts of the barracks we should look at more closely. Rolf's quarters and the basement, which they refused to open for me. We can't just barge in and hope they give up. What's your plan? Let's wait for nightfall. We'll sneak into the camp unseen, search the barracks, the private quarters, and then the basement. We might also try to find out where this night training takes place. Yes. I wouldn't want other young recruits to lose their lives tonight. Especially Wilhelm. Let's find Rolf's office. He surely has the key to the basement. This letter is disturbing, Kurt. It confirms that several deaths have been disguised in order to keep this camp secret. But it says that the recruits trained here have been assigned to governors from different cities. And yet I'm sure that Constantin knows nothing about these elite units. The conclusion of the letter also confirms that the commander is pleased with what's been going on here. So Torsten knew. So it seems, including about the deaths. He's gone too far. He dishonors us all. Sieglinder was right. This room, what could have happened in here? I know this smell only too well. Fear, blood, death. And to think I complained about the norms training practices, but this, this is horrific, Kurt.
This document explains a lot. They torture the soldiers to break them. Rainer shows up on this list more than once. He gave them a lot of problems. Those who resist too much are lynched during night training. Rolf, you'll pay for this. Kurt, Wilhelm's name was added to tonight's training. <sighs> the boy will pay the ultimate price for having helped us. We can't let them kill him. We must stop this training immediately. The risk is that Rolf will ambush us. If this boy dies because of us, I will never forgive myself. I refuse to let these recruits pay for the bastards who manipulate them. Let's avoid spilling blood in vain. You're a good captain, Kurt. But I hope you understand that they won't hold back on us. They're just kids. There has to be a way to reason with them. We'll do what we can, Kurt. I can't promise anything more. It's blocked. It's blocked. Despite what Wilhelm on, told me, I wasn't dead. expecting this. He's getting destroyed. They'll Come kill him. If you're dead. We can't let Come them on. get away with I'll it. Stop! We won't let you kill this boy like you killed Rainer. Soldiers! Do you realize what you're doing? Captain? But... You shouldn't be here. This time, you won't get away with it. Tom's! When my master of arms was in the guard, he always repeated, fight with honor. What honor is there in lynching one of your own when he's defenseless? What honor is there in being forced to kill one another the moment one of you refuses to toe the line? None. We followed orders, nothing more. You've been manipulated. But it's not too late to refuse all of this, to act with honor. You're right, Captain. It's over, Lieutenant. We will no longer beat our own. Imbeciles. Traitors. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Will you be all right? I'm wounded, but I'll survive, thanks to you. I'm eternally grateful. Come, Wilhelm. We'll help you get home. We owe you that, at least. I'm counting on you to bring him back to the camp in one piece. Yes, Captain. Well then, let's go. We can't let that vermin Rolf escape us.
Let's hope that Rolf didn't hear the sounds of combat. Surprise is our best ally. You're right. Let's try to approach discreetly. Nobody saw us. All we have to do is ambush them in the pit. Rolf, you bastard. How could you be part of this disgrace? You know that this is how the best soldiers are made. Soldiers, grab your weapons! Death to the traitors! Stop! Soldiers, are you really going to obey these scoundrels? Do I need to remind you of the guard's motto? Where is your honor? I won't repeat myself, recruits. Execute these traitors. Soldiers, listen to your captain. You are the victims of these monsters, and we are here to save you. We're doing our best to avoid a fight, to spare your lives. Well, what do you want us to do? We have orders. And we know what will happen to us if we don't obey. Enough! To arms! Attack! It was nearly Wilhelm's turn tonight. It could have been any of you. The lies! Only the weak fall. So we must prove that we aren't among them. Nonsense. I've seen more combat than any of you, and I've seen hundreds of soldiers die. Weak or not, I've seen this kind of camp before, full of torture and sadistic officers. I thought it was a thing of the past, but I was wrong. So help me make sure this camp really is the last of them. You... You're right, Captain. If we don't put down our weapons, this will never end. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You've trained cowards. Their training wasn't finished, Captain. And the speeches were so convincing. Silence! Where is this second squadron? Should have been here a long time ago. They're not coming, Rolf. They surrendered too. It would appear that your training methods aren't very effective. Now that you no longer have lackeys to send after us, Rolf, you'll have to get your own hands dirty. I've dreamt of shutting that big mouth of yours up for so long. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Will you be all right, Kurt? Yes. Yes. I'll be fine. I'm just glad to know that this camp won't kill anyone else. What about you, Wilhelm? Thank you for saving my life. Without you... I hope you can forget all about this. This is not what the Guard is about. I don't know if you'll be able to forgive us, Wilhelm. I've been in your shoes on other nights. You didn't have the choice. While we wait for this camp to close for good, You'll be under Wilhelm's command. 
You'll soon receive your transfer orders. At your orders, Captain. Glad it's you, Wilhelm. You'll stay here for now. I'll send men I trust to come get you soon. What do you want us to do? I'll need backup if I really want to put an end to all of this. We must go see Major Sieglinder in New Serene. I need to tell her what was going on here. Are you sure she wasn't involved? Her? Never. She's old school. She already held the commander at a distance because she didn't like the direction the guard was headed. He would have sacked her, or worse, if she didn't have so much support within the guard. I should have listened to her. There's no use brooding over the past. Let's go. We'll go and see her immediately. Sieglinder, I need to talk to you. What's the matter, Kurt? We've just returned from a training camp. A secret camp where elite soldiers are trained through terror, humiliation, and torture. Don't tell me that. Yes. One of my recruits died, and he wasn't the only one. It is designed to create a regiment of assassins. I am sorry, Kurt. I knew something was wrong, but I never would have thought it'd go that far. We put an end to it all. We had to. But Torsten allowed it. Even encouraged it. I told you that the Commander's ambition would end up leading us astray from the ideals of the Guard. And that we would pay the price for it. Yes. At the time, I told you you were exaggerating. That he had his reasons. What are you gonna do? I'm going to speak out, Sieglinda. ...and reveal the Commander's project to the Governor of the Congregation. If I were as close to him and his family as you are, I would have done so a long time ago. I know. I feel so stupid for not having understood Torsten's scheme until now. You've always been a loyal person, Kurt. And too many loyalties are sometimes hard to reconcile. But Torsten betrayed us all. I'm counting on you to make him pay for it. Believe me. He won't get away with it. Goodbye, Sieglinder. Goodbye, Kurt. My men and I stand with you. Greenblood, my friend. Do you need something? I must leave you. Menawi. I am always happy to see you again. Do you want to see the objects I brought back from Vignauri? How is business nowadays? You no longer have problems with the guard. No. Since you gave me this piece of bark, the guards don't dare bother me anymore. And the people of this village really like what I bring back from Vignauri. Our chief Ulan is very happy, as am I. We owe you so much. You will always be welcome here.
happy to see you, my dear. You really don't look well. Have you not yet seen a doctor? No, no, it's nothing. You know that I've always had a weak stomach. My nausea will leave me eventually. You wanted to tell me something? I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. <laughs>